Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Deanna. I'm a heartbeat fast for all kinds of plants. I have a problem. You might have the same problem. So in all the different plants that I have, I also own some orchids. And in this video, I want to share with you guys how I take care of my orchids. Um, I have found them very rewarding and easy to take care of, but there is some TLC or some tender love and care that we must give them so they can reward us with flowers year after year. So I'm going to take you through a span of about two months so you can see my orchids how um, they were after winter where they had not been taken very well care of and they were basically in their dormant stage. You'll see. And how they ended up being after giving it some tender love and care that you can also give to your orchids and hopefully they'll rebloom on you. So I'll take you through this time span of my orchid care. I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so it's April 2nd and it's time for orchids to start blooming again. Um, I have these two that I've had for a few years and uh, honestly, I kind of forgot about them for a few months in winter and I thought they were basically dead. Um, so maybe I haven't really watered them very often through the whole winter. Um, I had them in the lower uh, cabinet of my, my IKEA cabinet, not the greenhouse one, the one that's just glass shelves. So they were getting um, low to medium light during the winter and I watered them maybe once every two to three months. <laughs> so I that wasn't the ideal conditions. Honestly, I was just busy with all my other plants that kind of didn't take too much, pay too much attention to these orchids. But then uh, spring was coming along and I remembered my orchids and I went to look at them and I gave them a good watering maybe three or two weeks ago. And today I went to check them out and see how they're looking. And let me show you what I saw. First, um, this is the one that looked the worst when I, it actually looked bad even the end of last year. Obviously it needed a repot. I didn't do a repot and uh, what I see from three weeks till today that I went and I watered it was that I now I have all these new leaf, new roots growing out. That one, that one wasn't there when I saw it about three weeks ago. I thought they all basically looked dead. So because the node was still alive, it gave some new roots. Now that I actually gave it a watering and I put it up on my IKEA shelves where it would get more light. So um i'm happy to see this and i wanted to show you this because this teaches us that don't give up on it somebody told me to throw it away that it was a goner but it's not a goner look at that she's gonna make it and i can't wait to document a little a few months later on her progress but this one needs a repot and i'm going to show you guys how to repot a plant that looks like this that has dry roots to give it a new oomph this spring so they can flower for us now the other one was this one. This one, the leaves were looking a lot better than the other one. But remember, I didn't water it in a good two months. And when I watered it after three weeks, this is what I'm seeing. Yay, I was so excited. Basically, I gave it a watering to wake it up after the winter. And I gave it more sun, morning sun. Okay, it's where it gets like a morning, it's like an east facing window where I get morning sun. So two new little stems that are gonna grow out and these are the ones that are gonna give us the flowers. But because I have had them for, I wanna say three years and I've never repotted them, uh, it's time to repot it. And I'm gonna do that already this year. I keep this in hand because I use it for a lot of my growing medium to kind of mix it in to create more drainage. So I this is what I already had at home. So I'm gonna go ahead and repot them using this orchid potty mix that already has you know a nice little chunky mixture and that's what orchids want very very chunky mixture and not a lot of water <laughs> so um so let's do this together okay so we're gonna repot this baby so i want to see how it looks i want you to see it too and in case you ever have to go through this you can also look how chunky this came this is basically the where it, when I bought it, it came with this potting media. Look at that. So this teaches us they want it to be very, very airy. That's what orchids want. Okay, and obviously there's a lot of dead roots. Look at that. Wow, it's interesting, right? That's where I guess they started it, right? I don't think we need to keep that, so we're going to take it off. And now we're gonna cut off all the dead roots. The dead roots obviously look very dry. 
very brittle. Uh, so we're gonna cut that. And we're only gonna keep the, the ones that seem hard and alive. So I'm just gonna start cutting. You see that has green in it? So that, that part's alive, so, but this part is dead. So you normally wanna cut just above it. I overdid it just a little, but it's okay. It, these, these grow roots so easily. And it's such a cool plant because you get to see all the roots. So yeah, I wanna cut off the bad because that's not feeding the plant. There's no water, it's not gonna go up it. So I'm cutting a little extra. Um, and it's a good time to do this because it's spring. So the plant will be able to, it's, it's growing season and it's gonna, it's waking up from the winter and it's gonna push out the new uh, roots really quickly. We give it the right lighting. Lighting is very important. I repeat with orchids, you do not wanna put it where it gets light, low light. You want, you want it to be bright at some point, bright and direct at some point of the day. Okay, let's see. This, you know, sometimes I'm like, uh, where do I cut? Let's see that one. Okay, so I cut a little extra there, but that's okay. Look at that. And yeah, I wasn't a very good plant mommy with this one, but orchids are such awesome you know, fighters. So a lot of people, I think, throw away their orchids too quickly, you know? They kind of see the flower dries out and they're like, okay, it's not giving me any more flowers and they throw it away. You would be surprised that if you keep them around and you give them just a little bit of attention, how they will reward you with flowers. And we we all can say, it's one of the most beautiful flowers you can have on a plant. And if, through the years of owning these orchids, I'm realizing how I appreciate them because they don't ask too much from us plant parents and they give us a whole lot. Yes, the only downfall is that the flowers will last you a good two to three months and then the rest of the year, there's no flowers. Usually in my experience, they bloom for me only once a year in the area I live in, in Eastern United States. I don't know if you're in Florida or in a very more tropical area, if they will bloom on you more than once a year. I've heard my mother-in-law that's from Spain say that hers do rebloom at least twice, I think, in a year. So that's pretty cool. But if I can get them to bloom for two or three months in a year, that's pretty awesome because that's through two or three months for a flower to stay alive. That's great timing. And uh, then you kind of have to take care of the, the leaves, you know, um, water it like once every two weeks. I'll give more details later on. But, um, okay, so that's looking good. See here, I already cut, it's green, so I don't wanna cut any more. I feel like that's gonna be the same there. That's green, I don't wanna cut any more. That's green, I don't wanna cut any more. So I feel like all the bad, bad ones, I cut them off already. So now, uh, I'm gonna use the same container it came in. It's, this is good because you're able to see the roots. Um, so I'm gonna use the same container. I will never use something that has no drainage. You must have drainage in the container you use. Um, so let's get some new soil mixture. I'm gonna get it out right out of the bag. I didn't get my scooper. Let's just do it like this. So very chunky, I'll show it to you in a little bit, you see? Very chunky, a lot of bark in it. It's gonna help it drain very well. Okay, let's bring it right over here. We're gonna position this one, not like it was. We're gonna to try to get her standing up. Uh, maybe I'm gonna take, I usually end up doing this. Uh, let's put her back in. And it's okay if some of these roots are popping out. With orchids, it's, it's fine. They like to breathe, so. But I'm gonna keep most of them inside. So giving it fresh uh, potting media is gonna help it because it's gonna have more nutrients. And um, this one even says that it feeds the plant up to six months. So, so there's some fertilizer in it. 
already. So I think that's gonna be really good. And I'm happy I'm doing it right now, early spring, because I wanna get the most out of this orchid this year. So I wanted to push out those flowers before it's too late, right? Like that. Okay, so there you go. It was that easy. She's repotted. Now I'm gonna clean her leaves. She's acquired a lot of uh, dust through these months and I want it to be able to breathe. So clean off the leaves if you see them dusty. Um, you can tell that this plant has a little bit of wrinkly leaves and that's because, I, like I said, I didn't water it as much as I needed to, especially because it had a lot of dead roots. So it wasn't able to feed once I watered it three weeks ago. But um, it should perk up. And in, in, in a month, I should expect to see a lot more roots and the leaves a lot happier. Okay, so just doing that. And that should be a good treatment to help this orchid reward it with some flowers. So um, I also have this um, and it's also to feed your orchids and it, you're supposed to spray it to the leaves, to the roots and the growing media, but it says to not spray on the flowers and it says to start feeding it one week after you repot it. So right now you wouldn't have to do it. Now in my past experience, I only do this once a month approximately when I remember um and they've usually bloomed on me and that's it give them a lot of love talk to them tell them you love them and <laughs> i actually have done stuff like that and my orchids usually do give me flowers um every year so so far that's it that's a little quick tip on how to take care of your orchids so they can bloom oh and uh, the way you water them is for example when i'm gonna water it then i'm gonna oops i'm gonna just water it thoroughly And uh, you see how I'm catching water down here? That's really good. I wanna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it soaking in this water for about 30 minutes because I wanna make sure it gets a nice watering. After 30 minutes, I'll take it out, let it drain out, and that's it. I won't water it again until about two weeks. That's usually been my way of watering my orchids, spring and summer. Uh, once it's winter, I would not water it maybe once a month that's what i would do um and even if you wait a little bit longer as you can tell your plants not going to die because i waited a good two months for this one and it's not dead so i hope to give you guys a little update on how these look in about a month or two okay okay guys so we are at almost two months later um and i want to share with you what's happened with these orchids you saw everything that i did so i'm going to share with you how they look today okay i'm going to start with the one that had the prettier leaves the one that actually looked a little bit in better shape or health okay you saw how it changed the soil and all that and here she is today i didn't get that could you try again sorry guys technology <laughs> Um, she's looking beautiful and healthy and firm and lush. Look at that, guys. This started about three weeks ago. So that means that from the moment I changed the soil and all that and I put it in a brighter location and I started watering it, it's, it's done all this. So obviously it's blooming very, very nicely. Um, the leaves look very nice and plump and healthy. And uh, flowers, let me show you. I feel like obviously there's two stems, two stems that came out. And I feel like this here is going to be another little stem that's going to kind of veer off to the side with more blooms. And I feel like there's going to be another little stem shooting out from there, which isn't that awesome. And I still see a little bit more here happening right there. So exciting stuff, beautiful color, I love it. Now I am looking at it and I'm a little bit um, looking at concern how there's a lot of dry um, roots again. So I don't know if to mess with it now and cut them off, which I guess I could easily, the ones on the top, because they are no purpose, no use to it. 
And here's some new roots growing out. Let me pull it out of this so we can better inspect it. Right now, it is. it needs a good watering. But yeah, the root system does not look the greatest. But man, these orchids are thrivers, obviously, because even though the roots, I mean, obviously there's some good roots in there, but there's some dry roots in there. Um, even though, now, what do I think went wrong? I did not water it every week, and maybe I should have. Um, I think where I put it was where it gets eastern light, sun in the morning for a few hours. Seems like it's happy, but maybe I needed to water it a little more often to prevent some of these roots from drying off. So it's such a chunky uh, mixture that once a week would have definitely been fine. But I honestly forgot. But I actually just kept it where it got the morning sunlight before it bloomed, guys. This is a good point to make. Um, once your orchid starts flowering, you do not want it to have direct sunlight at the actual flower because it can burn it. So once they start flowering, I started kind of separating it from where it would get that direct sun in the morning. Um, I knew it was alive and was happy because it was gonna start blooming. So I just pulled it away. And now I actually have brought it actually to my kitchen where it just gets medium light, just because now I wanna enjoy the blooms. And um, once it's blooming, it's medium light has done well for me. We're keeping the flowers happy for the months of its life. They usually last about I want to say two to three months these flowers so that's pretty cool so i'm gonna i don't have my trimming scissors here but yeah these need to go some of this and you know i'm sure it's going to grow some new roots soon but i would not i'm not going to mess with it too much because guys it's happy so i am thrilled with having two stems full of flowers and um i have not been spraying it very often but then again remember the new orchid mix that i put in there had the fertilizer in there but now that i'm at it i'm going to spray them today okay so this is the orchid number one the one that was in a healthier state already to start out with now orchid number two was in a lot more terrible shape the leaves were a lot more wrinkled like they were drying how is she doing today you might ask this is where she's at today so no flowers yet but we have new leaves emerging that one that one you know and it's working on what it needs to be healthy which is new roots look at those beautiful roots let's pull it out it's working on the new roots and it's working on new leaves so i wouldn't i'm sure that it's going to have some flowers um, soon once it gets established we're going to get the new stems that are going to give it flowers i think there's still enough time this summer or fall that we can still get something later on this summer so but she's looking healthy so i'm happy because this is basically a plant that before i would have thought let's go ahead and toss it out there's no way it's going to survive i neglected it so i ruined it but look they're thrivers that's just kind of to teach you that <laughs> orchids are thrivers and don't toss them out, give them some love, and they should reward you with flowers. So it makes me very happy to see that she's not dying, she's alive, she's gonna continue on. And so they both need some watering right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Give me, uh, let me get my little saucer uh, pans and I'll be right. Okay, so I got my little watering saucers, and I did go ahead and get some pliers I put some alcohol, I need to do this anyway, so I might as well do this here. So I'm not gonna repot or anything like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut, okay? So I was able to see that, well, it was kind of halfway viable. <laughs> Maybe there's some green there, but they're good at pumping out new roots. Was that a good one? <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's halfway alive, halfway dead. That's obviously what it is. It was on its way out, but it's okay. I think I'm gonna pump out some new ones. Um, he's like, okay, that's what I left. So now, now that I've cut two and I see that they're halfway green, guys, I'm gonna just leave them because if they're, they, they, I thought they would be completely brown in the inside. And since there's still some green, it is serving some kind of purpose. So we're just gonna give these roots some better love and more watering more often. Now that it's summer, I need to remember, and because I have them in a brighter location where it gets morning light, I think they just needed more, more water than what I was thinking. So let me go get the water. Okay, guys, I have it ready now. 
I had it ready for recording this video, but then I got distracted watering some plants. So everything got out of its place. So basically, again, we're gonna water, um, let it go through completely. You might wanna make sure it gets saturated. So very easy to water these babies. Yes, get those roots some water, please. Oh, it's gonna spit, spill. The story of my life. Okay, making a little mess. So now I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna switch it, put that one there and see if I can, actually, okay. this is what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna put this one here. I'm gonna water this one through. Maybe I'm gonna put so much this time. And then what I would do is just let it maybe sit here for some time in the water. Better yet, now that I think about it, because, because, you see how these clear pots have about half an inch here of little height? So the water has to be high enough for it to actually saturate. So what I'm realizing is that, you see how I have the water in there? If I actually stuck it in here, it's going to soak up a lot more water. It's going to just give it a lot more depth. So it's gonna actually go up faster, higher. So I've actually found that for these pots or the orchid pots, the clear pots, it's actually better if I do that. So even this one here works well. I pop it in here. I wanna give it a little more water. And yes, I'm gonna let it sit here in this water, but only for like 30 minutes or so. You know, you don't leave it forever like that because then that can root the brats, the, 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 it can rot the roots. So you just want to leave it there for 30 minutes, um, an hour, I think would be fine too. But yeah, so while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and spray it again. When you, if you have the liquid miracle grow or, um, orchid plant mist, um, it's very easy. It's already mixed in the solution that we need it or the strength that we need it. So you spray the roots and the leaves, not the flowers. So here, we're easy, we can just spray all of this. Okay, so that's basically giving me, give it some, giving it some more tender loving care. So I'm not a big orchid collector, guys, but I have had orchids for years. These are older orchids, they're about four years old. So um, it just teaches you that we can all take care of orchids. It's not very difficult. They don't require a lot of time, but there are some things you kind of have to know or do in order for them to bloom on you again. And I think that's what we all want. So, but I am looking forward to collecting a little bit of more different orchids because uh, they are beautiful. I mean, come on. I love all my plants that are, you know, known for the leaves and being so beautiful, but who does not smile when you see a pop of color in your house? So yeah, they're beautiful, easy to house plants easy to find at different stores. So highly recommend it. And hopefully this video just helps us try to not to toss them out after the flowers are gone. And then we try to keep them alive for many years to come. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it was useful in any way. I know there's a lot of more higher, uh, a lot of more experts and a Hoya care, orchid care guys. And you guys are welcome to just comment below what you guys do tips and tricks for orchid care so we can all learn together and keep our beautiful house plants healthy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe or give it a thumbs up if you enjoy. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.